feel like there's something crawling all around your body, like those very itchy sensations that you can't shake off? What? Polyester? Spandex? Now I see it. Microplastics. That's right, microplastic. You can't even feel them, but they're there. They're in your clothes from the synthetic fabrics like polyester, acrylic, or nylon. According to a study by Brown published in Environmental Science and Technology, every time you wash your clothes, millions of tiny microfiber gets released into the environment. Napa and Thompson, in their research in science of the total environment, also found these little particles are dispersed during the washing process and are already prevalent in aquatic environments. And the scary thing, you wear this fabric every single day. So we're constantly being exposed to them without even knowing. These microplastics, so tiny that they're invisible to the naked eye, have been linked to series of health concerns, including hormone disruptions and even cancer. As shown in Bantac and Leslie's study in environmental pollution. And here, I thought it was just an itchy shirt. Anyways, let's make something healthy. Oh shit. This is covered in plastic too. Oh. You might think these kitchen stables are harmless, but a study by Kosu published in Science Events revealed that plastic surface like cutting boards and kitchen utensils release microplastic into our food when we use them. These tiny particles are often made with polyethylene, polystyrene, or polyvinyl chloride, type of plastic common found in food packaging and utensils. When you chop up your veggie or slice your fruits, there's a good chance you're slicing into a hidden layer of microplastic too. These chemicals are known to leach into food and the health risks associated with ingesting them are still being studied. However, research by Smith in Environmental Health Perspective suggests that they could cause inflammation, organ damage, and even genetic mutations. How lovely! Uh, I guess I'll have some snack. It shouldn't be too complicated, right? Uh, I guess this fish came with a side of microplastic too. You might think canned food is a safe option. Think again. Studies have shown that marine animals like the fish in this can are ingesting microplastic at an alarming rate. A study by Roachman and published in Environmental Science and Technology found that microplastic have infiltrated our oceans so extensively that even seafood have become a vehicle of plastic contamination. These particles can remain in our body for long periods, accumulating over time. While I was thinking I was getting a healthy snack, I might just be getting a side of mycoplastic induced toxicity. Oh, come on, now tea bags too? Yes, you heard me right. Tea bags. Research by Vandermeersch in food additive and contaminants found that many tea bags, especially the plastic lined ones, shed microplastic into your tea when they steep. One plastic tea bag can release billions of microplastic particles into your cup. As you sip your calming tea, you also sipping microplastics. Can we catch a break? These little particles are mostly made of polyethylene or polypropylene, which are the same plastics used in packaging and food containers. Study like the one by Dayforge in environmental pollution suggests these plastics could be harming your gut health, your immune system, and our overall well-being. Not the kind of detox I had in mind. Seriously? This too? Turn out, most of the disposable masks are made from synthetic material, which means, yep, you guessed it, microplastic. 
A study by Elias published in the Lancet Planetary Health found that disposable face masks, particularly the one made from synthetic fibers, are contributing to the rise of microplastic pollution. And now we're wearing these things on our face every single day, breathing in tiny plastic fibers. Not exactly the protective barrier that we hope for, right? I think we've all heard about plastic pollution before, but this, this is next level. Microplastics have made their way into every corner of our lives. From our clothes, to our food, to our daily essentials. The scariest part, you're just starting to understand the impact of it all. We need to start questioning what is really in the product we use and consume every single day. There's no escaping it. It's all around us. But if we don't pay attention now, the impact on our health, our environment, and the future generation will be catastrophic. So let's make a change. Let's rethink plastics. We use and push for more sustainable alternatives. Because microplastics, they're not just small, they're everywhere. <laughs>